In the present day's medieval workouts, we shall cover th three sections in welling, traveling exercises, sword fighting muscles, and buckle of defense training. However, before we receive it into yawns, make sure to subscribe and check out my book and other links in the description below in honor of the king. Our traveling exercises shall include it, foam rolleth warm up, plateth overhead walking lunges, kettlebell walking lunges, and mountain climbers. Starting our longest journey with the foam rolleth warmeth up, grabbeth the most brutal foam rolleth and setteth up in a prone position with both quads resting on the rolleth. Apply as much pressure as ye can as the rolleth backeth and forth and embrace the teen just like as thee woodeth doth if be true thee tooketh a sword in the heart for thy king. Lastly for a warmeth up is the TFL or out of thighs, loosening the hip for our 12 hour walks ahead of us, lodging thy forearm and foot on the floor at 90 degrees using both as an anchor to moveth thee backeth and fortheth. Just like at the quads, keeping the tension and staying elevated with all the pressure on the legeth muscle. Grabbeth a plateth and holdeth above thy headeth with both arms. Keepeth thy arms straight by thy ears and lunge forward with one side stepping the legeth and foot forward. Landeth with the foot, champagne and head behind thy toe. The front legeth at 90 degrees and the back at drum straight the 90. Keepeth the hum above the grid slightly and keepeth the back at straight. Continuing our travels with kettlebell lunges. Same rules apply as the plated lunges, however, thee shall holdeth the weights against thy chest instead of above thy headeth. Findeth the highest mountain in the valley and setteth yourself up for mountain climbers. Receiveth and a pusheth up position with thy arm straight and in line with the shoulders. Bringeth one arm in toward thy chest while the other stay straight. Bringeth yon same legeth backeth to starting position and switcheth sides. At which hour it is time to prepare it for battle. The men of the tribe shall walk in their sword fighting muscles. We shall do landmine twists, decline and medial cable wood chops, single arm chest press to sit up, and landmine squat to press. Getting the core and shoulders F for battleth with the landmine twists. Lodging a weight on the bar and brace thy core, and thee keepeth the arm straight and twistest the torso. Keepeth thy feet and hips locked in lodging as thee twisteth side to side, walking the obliques. Slight bendeth in the arm and elbow is t fine, straight for the most parteth. Continuing our sword training with decline and medial cable wood chops, similar form as the landmine twisteth, but walking the obliques and shoulders from different angles. Grabbeth the handleth with both hands and wend at a downward angle for decline chops, but pivot the feet this time if unlike the lamb mind twist. For the medial chops, the doth the same thing, but wend at a horizontal angle. Wend backeth to the lawn mind bar and lie on the floor, the single arm is chest presseth to sit up. Hast both elbows, did rest on the floor at 90 degrees and holdeth the bar on one armeth. Pusheth up using the elbow without the bar and extendeth the armeth with the bar straight as thee cometh up using the core muscles to do a full seteth up. Rolleth the baseth backeth on the floor coming up and down and keepeth the neck looking toward the ceiling in line with the backeth. Finish our sword training with the lawn mind squat to presseth. Grabbeth the bar with both hands. One handeth over the other and steppeth the feet backeth. 
Squat down, driving the hips back at. Palms in line with the toes, backeth straight, cometh backeth up and extendeth the arms up for the shoulders presseth. As at noon, as the arms are fully did extend up, prepareth to wend backeth down and repeateth. Make it sure the form is valarious as hurly burly is starting any minute. At which hour the foe attacks, we shall protect it ourselves with buckler defense training. And welling plate, chest presseth, plateth rose, plateth bridge pullover, and overhead presseth to tricep extension. Grabbeth two shields and receiveth F4R defense training starting with the plateth chest presseth. Lie on the bench and grabbeth both plates on the side. Starteth with the plates at chest leveleth and presseth up straight above thy chest. Extendeth the arms up but fully not locketh the elbow. Brace the core, chest and forks. Elbows bendeth at 45 degrees and keepeth the shoulderest backeth into the bench. Only one buckler beholdful for our plateth rows. Tilt the backeth forward, keeping straight, coming down to a 45 grizz backeth angle. Keepeth the plateth hanging with thy arm starting straight. Keepeth the neck straight and row the plateth toward thy chest, keeping the elbows base and shoulder as backeth. Roll all the way down toward thy chest, inhaling going down and exhaling going up. Working the backeth of the shoulders. Backeth and glutes with the bridge plateth pullover. Lie on the backeth, raiseth thy hips and squeetheth the glutes. Holdeth the plateth up above thy shoulders with the slight bendeth in the elbow but straight for the most part. Bringeth the arms backeth with the plateth coming toward the floor and tappeth the floor before coming backeth up. Cometh up to shoulders height but not too far past, keeping the tension on the muscle. Finishing off our defense training to protect us the distaff and children with the plateth curleth to presseth tricep extension. Standeth with a slight bendeth in the arms, elbows glued to the side as the curleth up squeezing the bicep and followeth with an overhead presseth right above the headeth, then extendeth the plateth backeth behind thy headeth for the triceps, cometh backeth up and bringeth the plateth down to the starting position. Thank you thee for watching, make it sure to like, comment and subscribe, stay tuned till next week.